we've got a question from Sarah in Duluth. It says, I'd like to buy a home now because interest rates are so low, and that is true. If you're wondering what interest rates are, you can get a 15-year fixed mortgage rate for under 3%, and you can get a 30-year fixed mortgage rate for just a little over 3%. But Sarah's friend has said to her that it's impossible to get approved, and she wants to know how long she should wait. And Sarah, I need you to understand that you might not need to wait at all. Uh, I think your friend might be giving you some bad advice by telling you that it's impossible to get approved. Now, there were people who had gotten approved for mortgages before who were getting an FHA or a VA loan, and the underwriting standards changed in the middle of the process, and my heart goes out to all of those people. Uh, my recommendation is that you work with somebody who really understands mortgage financing. Even the real estate broker understands mortgage financing, and they can help you work through those issues if you're out there and you were qualified for a mortgage and now you are not. But let me tell you about Maddie. Maddie's a client of ours. She's bought several homes with us over the years. She thought just two short weeks ago that she sh she could not get approved for a loan because she had heard that credit score requirements – had gone up. She had heard that debt to income ratios had gone down, meaning the percentage of debt monthly payment obligations you could have as a percentage of your income had gone down. In fact, she had applied for a mortgage earlier this year. I don't remember if it was, it might have been December or January, December of last year or January of this year. Anyway, she wants to buy a home. She was out there looking at properties earlier. She kept getting shut out of the market. She'd get beat out for offers. She didn't know at the time her credit wasn't set where she could actually buy a home. So she was making offers, and she always had so much competition at the table that she never could get in first position. Turns out it was fortunate that she couldn't because she wasn't able to qualify at the time. But now she was just chomping at the bit because she wanted to move forward and buy a home when she thought she could get a better deal on what was going to be a two hundred and fifty or sixty thousand dollar house in, I believe, the Lawrenceville area, if I remember correctly. And anyway, she was turned down this year, and she was so sad it was by another lender. She applied again with John Birchfield Brand Mortgage. Excuse me, John Birchfield Capital City Home Loans. John it used to be called Brand Mortgage. Forgive me for that. And believe it or not, her credit score had improved enough in the last few months. And they didn't change the underwriting criteria for debt-to-income ratios. And so now she is approved for a first-time homeowner loan because she hasn't owned a home in the last three years. And she can put as little as 3% down. So on a $250,000 purchase, she can buy the home with as little as, let's call it $7,500 bucks down. And her payment is going to be at three and an eighth or three and a quarter. So her interest rate is very low and her payment is going to be very affordable. So she thought she couldn't get approved, but what she decided to do was go ahead and move forward and have a conversation with another lender. And she did that so she could be confident in either that she could or couldn't get approved. And if she couldn't get approved, exactly what needed to happen in order for her to get approved. So now she's going to be able to move forward and take steps to find the perfect home for herself and her son and be able to move into that home and get the best possible rate and have the lowest possible payment. In a lot of cases, Atlanta, <clears throat> just like it will be with Maddie, she is probably going to be able to purchase the home for less on a monthly basis, believe it or not, than she could rent the same home for.